Okay, if we've made it this far and we've been able to generate a nice looking scatter graph um, with a chart title that looks good, walking step length and verse height. So I know that's gonna be my Y axis versus my X axis. That looks good. Are my axes labeled well with units? Yes, yes. The scale is good to, to no dead space. Scale my uh, X and Y axes appropriately to cover the range of data, but not have a lot of dead space. It looks good. Trend line looks good. Um, okay, our next step is gonna be to do our calculations for our R value, our correlation coefficient, and our R squared, um, or coefficient of determination. Um, first thing we can do is uh, let Google Sheets add it to our chart. I'm gonna double click my chart to open my chart editor. Under series here, this is where we were able to select this box to add our trend line. So it generated a trend line for us. And we have the option here of clicking this box that said show R squared. So if I click that, now it shows that it's calculated for us and it's labeled right on the chart. That looks good, I'd like that. Um, we don't need this extra labeling. All we need is really our R squared value there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this custom label. Don't need it. Good, but now my chart does contain my R squared showing it as a value of 41%, we could call it. Um, but let's, we also need to do the calculations for ourselves. Uh, we can do that right on the sheet here. Uh, we wanna find our R value and our R squared. I've labeled it here. R value, so I'll calculate my answer here. For that, we're gonna use Pearson's formula. In this box, I can go to insert, function, statistical, find Pearson's, but I can also just begin to type my equation equals, start to type Pearson and it pops up. That's the one we want. Now, for here, we're gonna select both of our ranges. So I'm gonna select my first, uh, data set here. I'm going to put a column, a comma, and then I'm going to select my second range of data there, and then I can close my parentheses or hit enter, and it uses Pearson's uh, formula here to calculate our R value. Now, if you're getting lots of decimal places, you can kind of bring this down a little bit. That looks good. Um, and then our R squared. Well, if that's simply a square of our R value, um, we can write a simple formula in this box to calculate R squared. We want this cell to equal our R value, which is found in this cell, times, for that I can hit my asterisk, star, which will uh, indicate multiplication here, and then we're gonna multiply it by the same value in the same cell. So I've got my R value times my R value, Enter. Now it's calculated my R value at 0.42, right? Depending on how many decimal places I want. How can we check our work here? Well, what did Google Sheets generate as a R squared value or coefficient of determination? It calculated 0.418. That matches our R value that we calculated. So we, if our R value is calculated correctly and we squared that correctly, these numbers should match up. That's a good way to check the work.